Hey, what's going on? I'm Devin. I'm Jeff. And we are Basic Bros Reaction. Hey, what is going on it is Basic Bros Reactions here. It's bro number one, Devin here, going solo today uh, just to get a couple of reactions in because our schedules weren't working. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure we got some more content out for you guys. And so today we're gonna be doing a, uh, gonna be doing a reaction to InMix's uh, first comeback with Dice. And so we did a reaction to their debut, OO or Zero Zero, and um, it was, interesting to say the least. Um, I don't know if I can think of a debut that was more polarizing from um, a girl group in the fourth gen. Um, and most most of it was kind of a little bit more on the negative side. Um, I know that uh, myself and uh, the bros on the channel did not really vibe with the debut as much. And it was really kind of disappointing because the group is very talented. Like they are all great vocalists and dancers and there's so much talent in the group, but it felt like the song was just very messy in the arrangement and the production and just the lyrics. It was just a lot of stuff just didn't seem to gel together. And so just hoping that maybe with this comeback, um, they kind of ironed some stuff out and were able to work on cleaning up kind of their sounds, their transitions and everything because their talent is there. And, you know, especially coming from JYP, which is known for having very strong girl groups that, you know, their debuts are really solid or even if their debut isn't so solid, their com their first comebacks are usually really, really good and really solidify them. I mean, you look at ITZY, uh, you look at TWICE, um, Miss A, uh, Wonder Girls, like all, if their if their debut didn't knock it out of the park, then usually their first comeback was what really solidified them. So I'm hoping that that is the case with uh, with this. Is that this comeback is going to really improve on some of the uh, some of the feedback, but still kind of maintain the sound that they're trying to do. So I guess with that, we will go ahead and we will get into this reaction in three, two, one. Okay. It's kind of like giving me red velvet vibes for some reason. Or Stray Kiss Circus. Okay, liking the colors. I'm kind of liking the sound so far. Okay. I love the vibrant colors and like the Alice in Wonderland theme. Okay, I like the horns kind of giving a like a little slight like laddie vibe to it. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this transition, but it was a lot smoother though than their debut. Ooh, that's some, those are some vocals there. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. A little extra singing. Okay, okay. All right, um, so that was interesting. Um, it's, I did enjoy that a lot more than their debut. Um, definitely, that I mean, that goes oh, without saying. I mean, I feel like <laughs> without being too rude, I felt like the bar was set so low that the only way that they could go is up. And so I really, uh, I like, um, I, I like their voices. Is I like this song. It was a lot more like um, easier to follow along with. Um, I do kind of, and maybe this is kind of like they're going to be their signature style or like sound. But it really did feel like they were just kind of meshing like two songs, putting it together. And I know that that was kind of a trend that you know we see. A, few other groups kind of do it um what pops into my mind a lot is and that does it in this fourth gen is espa um with the kind of that type of where they're mixing two songs where it almost feels like they could be two great songs on their own but they kind of mix it in together and so um I see kind of the good and bad of both. Uh, this one was a lot more, once again, a lot smoother. Uh, so I really did enjoy that, even though I kind of feel like if the songs were separate, I would enjoy each of them a little bit more as opposed to them being together, um, if that makes sense. Um, also, uh, the vocals were really good with this song. I mean, I know that a lot of people tend to go and lean into the belts and like, you know, if they have the high note and stuff like that. But I feel like the range in that they were singing, especially Lily in parts of the song, um, she's the one who I can recognize in her voice uh, is one that I really pay attention to um, was was pretty challenging. Like it's, I think this really unappreciated how vocally strong this group is because they all have really solid voices it, it, from what I could hear from this song and whatnot. So I do feel like this was more appeasing to the ears and I did enjoy this more than their debut, but it didn't like knock it out of the park for me, but I really did enjoy it a lot more than, than their debut. So I guess if I had to give that a score, I would give that a 7.8. I, I enjoyed it more. It's not something that, once again, I don't think that I would gravitate towards, like putting it on my playlist or would seek seek it out to listen to it. But if it played on the radio, if it came on my Spotify playlist, um, there's about like 50-50 chance that I would like skip. So I think that it was a pretty solid song and I enjoy that they're kind of sticking to Sick and true to their sound, but they're kind of refining it a little bit more. And I think that all the talent, the vocal, the the beauty, the dance, everything is there. Um, I just the sound just doesn't do it for me. But I'm sure that there's people who love this sound and this this really works for them. And so more power to you guys. But it just didn't do it for me. But I did really enjoy it a lot more, and I appreciate the growth in their sound and how it just overall sounded a lot better so let me know down in the comments below what did you think of this comeback did you love it were you indifferent did you hate it let me know down in the comments uh, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified whenever we are dropping reactions and we are <laughs> basic bros reactions